Good morning, good evening everyone. Welcome to episode 32 of the Creative Suite TV podcast. It's great to see you all and have you all back again. Hope you've been enjoying the shows lately. I've been a bit busy, so uh, a couple of weeks in between them. I'm sure you you won't mind. Um, I've been using Photoshop to do some new um, uh, slides and things like that. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do a bit of animation, a little bit of video editing inside Photoshop CS3 at a later point. But for today, we have a great technique that uses... Uh, stacking smart objects and stack mode um, stack mode changing oh you'll see what I mean in the tip it's a great little tip I hope you enjoy it Photoshop CS3 extended if you've got it use it a little bit about camera raw as well here we go Okay, we've got some, some um, camera raw images. We've got three camera raw images that I took in Melbourne, uh, which is where I live. Um, it's at Federation Square, and you can see there's a new building in the background with a gold top. Uh, it is um, it is the Eureka Tower, as a matter of fact. So what we've done here is open them in camera raw. Uh, the camera raw filter itself is way too big uh, to actually see on our little screen here we can't see absolutely everything but I've already done some adjustments to this in camera raw 4.1 I've done a little bit of spot retouching with the new retouching tool we're gonna have a look at that in a future episode I think but for now let's go ahead and um, open these files into Photoshop so we've got one two three let's open them in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to remove people uh, from a series of photographs by the way this was taken handheld with a Nikon D70 camera, which is my little digital SLR camera. What we can see is that we've got people walking through this shot. One, two, and three. Uh, same person there, same person there. I couldn't quite get a single frame with no one in it. And you can see that, um, yeah, there's just people walking around in there. I'd like to get rid of them out of, out of this shot. So we can use... Um, all three of these shots in um, composite or combine them all together so that we can remove the people. Photoshop CS3 only. So here's what we do. First thing, we're going to use a script. So we go to filter, uh, sorry, file menu there, down to scripts and over to load files into stack. Now this is a great little shortcut. This just means that when we click that, Photoshop's going to be able to uh, add all the open files and load them all up into one single file. Virtually copies and pastes all of them into one, two, three uh, layers. Uh, so we can, um, I'll just turn that off so we can see a bit better. I'll just hide the background. So we've got one, two, and three. You can see as I turn them on and off that they don't perfectly line up. If we hold the shift key down, we're going to go back to the edit menu now. We're going to say, please, Mr. Photoshop, could you auto align these layers for us? We'll go ahead and press OK. So we'll just leave it on auto there. Press OK. And Photoshop's going to go ahead and auto align them. You'll see the screen jump around a little bit. And now when I turn off each of the, the layers there, you'll notice that uh, as I turn the layer off, the buildings and everything stay perfectly aligned. The only thing that's moving is in fact the people to three. That's a good sign. Now we keep the layers selected and we're going to group them into a smart object. Pop out menu in the layers panel over here. Convert to smart object. So a smart object maintains all of that layer information, all three of the layers, and it essentially embeds them into a new document and then creates that into a layer. So they are all still editable. Here's the kicker. So, to remove the people, we can now come, uh, sorry, up to the layer menu. And because we're on a smart object layer, we can select that and then over to stack mode. 
Okay, so this is a great way, and I'll just zoom in here so you can see some of these stack modes. This is a great way of joining layers together. You see, I can use all of kurtosis. That's fantastic. No idea what it means, but it's fantastic. Mean, medium range, and it will join these layers together using one of these. I'm going to use median because it's going to look for static information that exists in at least two of these. Uh, images and then get rid of the stuff that moves ie the people so median I've joined all three of my photographs together and boom They're all gone. <gasps> I bet you're all saying that's amazing Mike do it again No, I refuse to do it again because it's a video and you can simply rewind it and watch it again <laughs> Hey, what a tip that was I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I certainly had a lot of fun doing it. It's it's a great uh, little thing. So if you've got a digital camera, get out there and start taking some photos. Um, if there's people in the way, just knock them out the way. It doesn't matter. You'll be able to use that technique. Look, I've got some great tutorials coming up. Um, I'd love to get your feedback. I'm getting a lot of uh, feedback on my uh, website. Uh, on under the comments page there so there's been some questions and answers going on there as well and also some fantastic stuff on you YouTube I've just been going through having a look at the stats uh, it's going to be very soon our 100,000th download so I think I'll give a little prize for whoever it downloads the hundred thousandth uh, episode so how am I going to find this out well when you watch a video on YouTube, if you watch on YouTube, type in a little comment when you watch it, okay? And through the powers of the internet and my personal deduction, which involves throwing a dart at a dartboard with everyone's name stuck on it, I will figure out who is the 100,000th download, and I'll send you something. I've got all sorts of stuff in this office here. And by the way, I'm not encouraging you to uh, pirate software. With that back there, I just kind of thought it looked cool. So I put it up there. If you're the 100,000th downloader of Creative Suite TV, I'll make sure that there's something for you. You know, I've got stuff. I've got heaps of stuff laying around in here. Look, I've even got this. If you like this, uh, I'll just hold that up to the camera. This is an iPod, Adobe iPod sock. You know, you can put your little iPod in there. There you go. Maybe that could be something. Maybe, uh, hang on a sec. What else have I got here? Look back here. Look at this. Maybe Creative Suite Series 1 or Series 2 on DVD, which people are just loving at the moment. I'm sending that sending that around the world to various different people in high resolution. You can get that off our website too if you like, among some other wonderful things. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>